Good morning, Al Dugan of Novato. I sent you on Friday a package that contained documents relative to TAM's wording that it used in Novato to try to uh, get support for increase of the sales tax in Marin. And it also dealt with the push poll that uh, TAM has created. Al, do you want to talk on that now or do you want to wait until? I, I want to talk about it now because okay. it's an overview thing. Okay. It doesn't have anything to do with this specific plan. The Marin IJ editorial said the TAM agenda item to the Novato City Council was a spin job. It was misleading. It was disinformation. The title of the agenda item characterized the cap established by the state to protect taxpayers from being overtaxed as a procedural obstacle. In fact, there's no mention of the word tax. That's the Marin IJ. Next, we have the TAM October 2016 poll that was obviously biased, poll unfair and heavily biased. Alex Frederick, TAM board member from Tiburon, was on record in the PRA that I got telling TAM board members she voted three times. She wrote, sampling is always a problem for surveys, but this one seems fraught more, more than most. This glitch really puts the validity of any results in question. TAM continued to use those 2016 poll results. Now, TAM has a serious, serious credibility problem moving forward. And they're going to have a very difficult problem getting any new money, any new money, uh, with the credibility problem they have. So the question is, what leadership is the Marin County Supervisors going to bring to TAM? And I would ask you to write down these three words. Basically, um, I want you to consider them, Google them, and think about them, and whether moving forward and in the past you were compla complacent, you were compliant, or if you're just suffering from groupthink. I would hope you all seriously consider this, and we need credibility at TAM. Uh, nobody is against trying to make transportation better. Thank you.